Okay guys, so I'm at Chanticleer Garden. Uh, this is in Wayne, PA, it's Delaware County. And this is really, really pretty. Um, so I am walking, I have a map. Um, I'm just wandering around and it's nice and cool today. Villanova in PA. Oh, oh, guys, hang on. I gotta turn the camera around. Okay, look at that espalier. Okay, let me. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Guys, this is the exotic version of Plumbago, it looks like and lavender. The restrooms are that way. This is really nice. Okay, season's passes here are $80 for two people, so I'm gonna get one. Oh, and they even have thing for your water. I didn't bring my water bottle though, but this plumbago is nice. This is so pretty. Okay, hang on guys, let me take some pictures. Oh look, they have those Genghis Khan Japanese asters. I see some, uh, let's see, they got Hasta. I see some Bronera back there. This is so adorable. turn this way. Okay, hang on. Okay, I see some flocks over here. Um, that looks like a tropical hibiscus. Not really sure what this is right here. I love those, uh, I guess that's an obelisk. It's very unusual looking one. I like how they do that. It's very wild, very natural. A lot of drifts of things. I need to get some Adirondack chairs. Oh my. Yeah, guys, I think this is the tennis court garden. Ooh la la. Oh, wow. Wow. I 
I remember when I looked at this online, oh, there's some beautiful antenna right here. Uh, they, this had been tennis court, they converted. is very beautiful um, kind of speechless actually <laughs> it's such a pretty garden Sage. Uh, it looks like I see some butterfly weed, lilies. Oh, I see like those double click cosmos. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, right there. And here we got a pool. Oh my gosh. This is amazing.
Okay, this is supposed to be to the garden path. Wow. Okay, so I'm liking this a lot. Um, hmm. I don't know, Longwood, y'all got some competition up in here. awesome for sledding but man on the same same token if you can't just slid down that thing you're gonna get seriously hurt okay all right guys let me stop uh, recording right now so I can save my battery okay Okay guys, my, whatchamacallit, uh, my steady stick is dying, so, but that's okay, it's beautiful. guys. Hey guys, that's that hill. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look how steep. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Uh, they have a lot of this plant. Uh, I see some allium, I saw some marigold, uh, I saw some eryngiums, rattlesnake master, um, a lot of stuff you can find in local garden centers. Really have much labeled here, but I, a lot of it I know what it is. You know, they got yarrow, I see some echinacea, and actually, their uh, Japanese anemones are starting to 
open right now. Look at that, that looks like either pink, parasol pink, or maybe hula. Hope there's a hula echinacea. They definitely have a wild flower garden feel. It's beautiful. I mean, I really, really like it. show you my dress guys This is so interesting. Whew. Is there somewhere up here I can sit? Oh good. Yes, there is a little seat, so I'm gonna have a little sit sit see. And hopefully there's no snakes around here. Cause that would suck. I had more land now that was woodland because this is my idea of woodland garden. It's wild but not too wild. It's culti it's got an air of distinct cultivation to it. And ooh. I just love the way they provide these seating areas so people can just like take a little sit. Oh so ooh, okay. <laughs> the chair is a little lower than I thought. Okay, guys. I'm going to use my steady stick for this. This over here are the uh, vegetable gardens. Ooh, look at that. That is a spalliade into what looks like a, sh a, a fan shape. That's nice. 
Okay, y'all. Wow. Wow, we. Holy cow. Um, y'all, look at this vegetable garden. Mm. Okay. Ooh, wee. Sunflowers. That looks like a cartoon right there. They got edibles mixed in. So I see millet, celosia, which is part of the Amaranth family, some zinnia. I see some white gomfrina. Ooh, they got the, the tour in here, which is a weird choice. Edibles. Ooh. Sunflower, brassicas. Wow. This is a vegetable and herb garden. Holy cow. This is proper, what a proper vegetable garden should be. Ooh, oh, those are marigolds. Dang, those things are tall. They're actually, well, I mean, they're a little hilled a little bit still. Straw flower, I don't know what that is. They got a lot of sunflower. Lots of big sunflower. Where did you read his stuff in local food pantry? Please shut the gate behind you. Oh, okay, I guess I can go in here. I just had to shut the gate behind me. Okay. And so it's for staff and, oh, there we go. Okay, they got a lot of, uh, see some peppers up in here. That's lots of tomatoes. Oh, I see they got, they did um, raised fencing using wattle. That's what that is right here. Let's see if I can get down. It's nice. Okay. Just looking at how they do the tomatoes. Looks like they got some weave technique going on. Oh, let's see. Down here, oh, I see some zucchini over there. Around here, ooh, gracious. So basically they just did like a simple tripod with a pole and they just tied. Okay, so they use rope rope. Okay, I didn't do that. Okay, and they just, it looks like they twine the tomatoes around it. Okay, I can do that. And there are the peppers. Okay. I really like this. I mean, you know, if I could do something, a vegetable garden in ground. Oh my gosh. A tomato plant touched my hand. I nearly, I was like, oh my gosh, I could think of a snake. <laughs> yeah, if I was doing like in ground beds, I would totally do this. Because it's really, really, really nice. Okay, let me get a nice picture. Wow. Okay. That's it for here. Wow, that's, that's a greenhouse. <laughs> Ooh. They're growing tomatoes in really big pots. It's actually surprisingly cool in here. Look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> Oh guys, actually, this is a picnic area. Oh, wow. What a beautiful place to have a picnic. You can bring your own food, sit in here. Oh, wow. Ooh, 
That is, that's great. Okay, next time I come back, I'll remember to bring some food and like have a, a little sit down. So cool looking. sitting down and waiting to walk up the last flight of stairs oh and then I'm gonna be done Whew. um yeah that was nice it was really nice I would like to come back especially in the fall uh, when the leaves are tr um, uh, changing um let's see they have picnic tables everywhere so you can bring your own food I didn't know that um, okay, so it's only open through October, and sometimes, let's see, yeah, so there's seven horticulturists at this garden who design it, um, there are terraces like crazy, and yeah, it's great, um, if I live closer, like, it would be perfect to just bring a book and sit here because they literally have chairs all over the lawn. Like, the lawns are designed to walk on, sit on, and that sort of thing. So, uh, I don't think they have any food, though. So, that's big minus. But aside from that, it's beautiful. So, let me give you guys one last look at where I'm seated, sitting. <music> start the tour down here so that is very pretty so this is referred to as a pleasure garden you can totally see it because it is very it is very pretty 